Okay, Proverbs 2. So, um, this is going to be another video um, series, just like I did in the book of Revelation. Uh, there, uh, to me, there's books that should be read all the time. Um, in chap chapter 1, verse 3 of bo the book of Revelations, it says, Blessed is he who reads, blessed is he who hears. And I like to apply that exact same idea to um, Psalms and Proverbs. Now, if you've been with me for any length of time at all, you know that um, my channel started out, I was covering, it was tons of stuff. Sometimes it was seven, maybe ten videos a day back at the beginning of the year because so much was coming in. Uh, it was like the spirit opened up and I couldn't keep up with it. Um, but as time has gone on, it's refined. It's gotten a little more organized. And I've added morning prayer. I was actually going to read Psalms. I got this little fake electric fireplace and I was going to have that fireplace on and do Psalms by firelight. But then the idea changed. And uh, I know it, this was divine. The Lord was like, hey, pray the Psalms to me. You got it. And that has turned out to be very good. It's been a real blessing to everyone. Um, especially me because I love doing it. I look forward to that, that being the first thing I do every day. Before I do anything else. So now uh, it's been put on my heart to do Proverbs. As a church or as a group, as, as people, we've gotten away from reading Proverbs. Proverbs used to be read everywhere. Uh, people used to read them out in the, in the in the marketplaces and stuff like that. So I thought, well, a great opportunity. Um, because I'm always looking for some content to put out. Let's give the whole council, including Psalms and Proverbs. Well, I'm already doing Psalms. Now let's do Proverbs. I'm going to give, when I read through these, just a little bit of commentary if it's warranted. But mostly I'm just going to read them. Because one of these may speak to someone. It may speak to their heart. It may inspire them. And it's just, it's something we should do as Christians, is start reading through these things. Because every word in the Bible teaches. So, Proverbs 2, the value of wisdom. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the path of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity, and every good path. When wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, discretion will preserve you. Understanding will keep you. That one just spoke to me. To deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and who are devious in their paths. To deliver you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words, who forsakes the company of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house leads down to death and her paths to the dead. None who go to her return, nor do they regain the paths of life. So you may walk in the way of goodness and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth and the unfaithful will be uprooted from it. So we see dire warnings here coming from Solomon. Um, and a lot of the Proverbs are that way. It's warnings of to the wicked. It's warnings to the wise and to the good people to stay away from these things. Because no matter how strong we are, no matter how good we are, there are just some things that the temptation may be the one weakness that we have. And Satan is able to find a way to use against us. He is a slick, man, he's slick, like a car salesman. He'll sell you a broke down rust bucket and make you think it's a Porsche. And uh, he does the same thing with our day nowadays. Hey, you can do this. Hey, it's okay once or twice. Hey, you're covering your sins. Go ahead and go sin some more. And, you know, clearly we need to stay away from those things. If we want to make God happy, we have faith. If we want to show ourselves approved, we try to walk as upright as we can. 
and we become an example to other people. So guys, I hope these videos bless y'all. Uh, there'll be less commentary as things go on, because um, mainly I just want to read them, but I'm these first couple, I'm setting everything up. Um, if anything jumps out at you, do more research into it. Don't hesitate. If the council comes to you through one of these th videos, take that and go and do more research. <coughs> I don't need to know about it, but you guys can dig into it because it may speak to you on a level that it doesn't speak to me. And it may show you something that I don't see that may help you in your life. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name, and I'll see you in the next video.